while most of the things that I review on this channel are related to smart home, home assistant or 3D printing. From time to time I do also get devices that are not directly related to anything, but at their core they are also bases for the future smart home developers. And today we will be playing with Mbot Ultimate Kit that I received from Makeblock and I did play with it with my kid for the last month, month and a half. We'll start in a couple of seconds. First let's start with the full disclosure. This kit was sent to me free of charge. I didn't have to pay anything for it, but also Megabot didn't pay me or sponsor this video. What you see in this video is my honest opinion about this kit. But what Makeblock is? Makeblock is a manufacturer that produces a lot of STEM related kits. And those kits are for the kids ages 4, 6, 8 and 12 plus years. And where can you find Makeblock? You can find it on the website. But maybe your school or school where your kids go already has them. From what I've read on the internet, there are over 200,000 schools that are using Makeblock kits for the STEM education. So maybe you are lucky one. But if you're not cool and you want to have fun with your kids, you can buy and spend time playing with the kids. And both I and my kid really did enjoy playing with this ultimate 10 in 1 kit that I got. Depending on the age, you may select one of the kits that is available here. As I mentioned, I received this Mbot Ultimate Kit. What is so special about this Mbot 10 in 1 robot kit? Well, actually, it comes with a lot of stuff already packed in. It is for older kids, such as myself. No, it is actually for the kids that are 12 years or older. And what will the kids learn? They will learn how to assemble by following the instructions and the guide is really well made. And after they assemble each of those 10 projects, they can play with them, which is the second best part of the kit itself. If your kids are into programming, if you want to see if your kids are interested in programming, of course, there is a third way on how they can use the kit. Instead of using pre-built applications, they can hook this to a PC, write code, and it can be either Python, Arduino, or you can use the drag and drop coding and they can learn on how to program, how to move the motors, how to detect the distance with the ultrasonic sensors, use the gyroscope, etc. The kit itself arrives in a pretty big box and it's heavy. I did mention manual previously, it is really well made. First three models are included in the printed manual, but you can also find it on the website in the support section as a PDF file. Also, all 10 models can be found there, but we will look at that in a bit. Parts are packed in a foam in two layers. Acrylic parts still have protective film on them. Nuts, bolts and similar are tucked away in a box. Double-sided box. It's heavy, but it's also very practical and easy to use. All the electronics are in anti-static bag. When we already mentioned electronics, in the kit you'll find Mega Pi, which is Arduino Mega. 2560 and there are enough pins on it or interfaces for additional modules that you can get. I must mention that you can use Arduino compatible modules too, not just the ones provided in the kit or that you can buy from their website. You also get encoder or DC motor drivers, Bluetooth module, shield for RJ25, ultrasonic sensor, line following sensor, shutter which is a butt that can be used to trigger photos on a camera and a 3-axis accelerometer with the gyro sensor. Plus, of course, all the beams, plates, gears, brackets, shafts, etc. And you also get DC motors, robot gripper and all the tools necessary for the build. You do receive written or printed guide and that printed guide covers building of three projects. But everything can also be located on the website. Go to support page, guide for beginners, Select the model of the kit that you got, for me this was Mbot Ultimate, and here you have really detailed instructions. These are all the items that you received. As I mentioned, the board, that's a Mega Pi. You receive encoders for the DC motors, 
in the kit is also included three axes accelerometer plus gyro sensor shield and the me shutter me shutter is used for projects where you need to press for example the button either on the screen to take photo or on the camera itself then you have assembly instructions as i mentioned three originals are also in the printed form plus seven additional forms in the printed form you receive instructions on how to build robotic arm tank beverage robot and the camera dolly and for the other seven projects click on this here and then you have option either to watch a video or download the pdf file with the instructions for example rolling tank while i did find the instructions for first three projects to be more detailed than this one here it was also not that hard to build especially if you've built anything from the first read manual it tells you what parts you need and how the assembled part should look it may miss some of the details, but from the images, you will figure out what goes where. And that's also part of the learning process. It can help you and your kid have more fun and sometimes disassemble something because, for example, they didn't install screws in a place where they should have been installed. My biggest mistake a couple of times was actually these parts here. For some of the motors, they have to be aligned like this, for the others, they are aligned to one of the sides. But there is also, as I mentioned, a video guide, and you can follow that guide to assemble any of the 10 included projects. And no, these 10 projects are not everything that you can build. You can be creative and create your own project. For example, when I created the robotic tank arm, I was left with more than 50% or around 50% of the parts not used. So actually, I could have built something else on top of it. Let's talk about time consumption, because when you start building, it will eat up your time. For the first project I was building together with my daughter, it took us roughly two, two and a half hours from opening the box until it was finished. When we finished, unfortunately, we didn't have time to play with it anymore because it was already too late and I was missing batteries. And actually, batteries is something that you can buy as an extra. If you do not go for the lithium-ion batteries, you will have to find 8, I think 8, AA batteries. After we assemble the robot, we spend next two weeks playing with the robotic arm, driving around the house and trying to figure out what objects can we lift with it and what we cannot lift with it. It's great for the kids, but even adults can have fun with it. For example, to bring you a beer or coke. But just when you think that assembly and playing with it is enough fun, no, you can also program it, or your kids can. Or you can too, but let's talk about kids first. In the IDE, and the link to it is available both in the video description and also on the webpage from Makeblock, you can create custom commands. You can program robots, any robots that you build, to do something that you want them to do. What you have to do, you have to select add to add the device that you have. In my case, this is Ultimate 2.0. And then just go through the menus and select commands that you want to use. For example, set camera shutter on port 6 to release the shutter. Or press the shutter. All the drag and drop commands are inside the menus that are color coded. But if you think that that's it, no, actually you can go to extensions. Extensions are divided into two categories, sprite extension and device extension. The device extensions can be used to extend the capability or add functionality based on additional sensors or devices that you've connected. And of course, there are also example programs. You can browse through the list and see any program that you like, download and see how the code looks. But drag and drop is just part of the fun. If you click on this icon here, it will open the preview in Arduino code to see how this drag and drop code actually looks as an Arduino code. And that can help you and your kid to program in the Arduino too. If you are proficient in Arduino, you can start typing everything from scratch here. But let's stick to the blocks for now. All the programs that you created, you can also save. 
save them locally to your computer, save them to cloud, and also publish for others to use. And in order to push the code, you need to upload the firmware to it. For that, use the provided USB cable to connect the board itself to the PC and upload the firmware. Depending on the kit you have, you have various options. Here we have program with mBlock 5, and you can use it as a standalone app, you can use it as a Chrome or web version, or you can use it as a web version on the Chromebook devices itself. The documentation, once again, is really awesome. And yes, the examples once again are included. So everything your kid or you will need to learn programming is included free of charge with the kit itself. Everything is included in the support web page for the kit you bought. So after you have assembled, played and programmed, you also have something to learn from. For example, detect the distance with ultrasonic sensor, detect the black color, which is usually used to follow the black line, detect postures, which actually is not postures, but the position of the device or the kit itself, detect the angles the encoder motor shaft rotates, detect the rotation, control the robotic clamp, everything is here. For example, detect the distance, you have objective, what you need to learn, what you need to do this, how to assemble everything, how the code itself should look, and what is the end result. If I need to compare this kit with the other kit that I reviewed with my kit, I think they are both the same. The other one was more towards the programming and the sensors. This one is the full, includes the mechanical part, programming, and also sensors. But there is also a big difference in the price itself. Current cost of the kit is $339. There are some ways to get additional discounts. If you, for example, sign up to a newsletter, and if you rotate the Wheel of Luck or Wheel of Fortune, you may end up with the additional discounts. So is it worth the price? It all depends. If your kid is into STEM, this is definitely great kit for them to start both assembling stuff and also playing and programming with it. If your kids are not into STEM, well, maybe you are into STEM. As I said, this kit is great and you can also buy some additional extensions to the kit. I already did mention this lithium battery pack. There are some add-ons that you can buy. USB interface if you don't want to control your device with a mobile phone. Bluetooth remote as alternative to the app itself. Lithium polymer battery, which I think is a great addition. And of course the ME LED matrix, etc. I did mention the assembly process. It takes roughly two, two and a half hours, depending on the model you are building to build something. But don't forget that whatever you build, you will have to disassemble if you decide to do so. Disassemble also takes a bit of time. I think that disassembly of the robotic tank arm took me around 30 to 45 minutes. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things with this make block kit. The quality of the build is really well. All the blocks in the kit are aluminium parts. The bad thing is that sometimes the holes are not perfectly aligned. Everything does assemble, but some of the screws really needed force to be screwed in. And I think that long term it will result in a stripping of the head or issues with the screwing metal parts. Not in a short term, but after 20, 50, 100 assemblies or disassemblies. Of course, in the box there are plenty of extra screws, so that also shouldn't be the problem itself. Written documentation for the kit itself is really awesome. Once again, it's not a written, it's pictures, but it really helps even those that have never previously seen a kit like this to assemble the kit. And as a parent, I really did enjoy two, two and a half hours assembling, disassembling because we assembled something wrong, reassembling, and just having fun with my kid on assembling first build. Since my kid is more into art than STEM, I'm not really sure if she will be by herself assembling or programming, 
But when we have free time over the weekends, we will definitely build everything we can build with the kit. And there are still a couple of things we haven't built and tried, or built and then she played with. So is $340 expensive for the kit. If you put it in a time perspective, and if your kid is dedicated into building stuff, the kid will spend weeks and weeks and months playing with everything this kid can do. So in that perspective, yes, I really do believe that this is a fair price for what you get with the kit itself. And as I mentioned, there are add-ons or bigger packs depending on if you want to start small and then expand or buy everything already included in the box itself. So go check out MakeBlock website, the link to it is down in the video description and see what products they also carry and if there is something interesting there for you and of course your kids. And I really wish to thank MakeBlock for sending me this kit because yes, I really did have awesome time playing with it. And I know that my daughter had also great time too. Let me thank also all those wonderful people that are supporting me on the YouTube channel and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, liked and subscribed to my channel. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can go to the merchandise store and buy something there. I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.